Welcome back everyone to Out of the Park Baseball 2021 Arizona Diamondbacks franchise for another episode as we continue this series. Last episode we played opening day against the Braves winning 7-6. to six. If you missed that episode go check it out first. And uh, Zach Gallen is off the DL so he'll be our starter today. We're going with a six-man rotation for the time being this is only temporary i kind of want to just see between these four guys who's not doing well and send them down uh, we did send down yon lopez for now but like i said it's only temporary it's probably only going to be like a week before we change things again so speaking of a week we'll go ahead and sim a week see how we do uh, so it looks like we're three and one we just lost our first game to the braves seven to five it looks like Hector Rondon blew that game, which is unfortunate. Merrill Kelly pitched okay, five innings, four earned. So it looks like Zach Gallen, Luke Weaver, and Kelly all had bad starts. So let's see how we do against the Giants. Hopefully we can win. Uh, Darren O'Day is going to be out for six weeks. So that's not good. Uh, we'll bring up Yon Lopez back up into our bullpen looks like corbin martin had a good start though eight to four win over the giants taylor clark also had a good start so let's see how we do with a second round uh with the rotation uh, we did get a personal message just player development update uh wow okay it looks like andrew chaffin was placed on the waiver wire and he was claimed by the marlins so Looks like he's uh, moving around to different organizations. That's interesting. So continuing our simulation, this team's good. Uh, we were 9-1. and one. Hit a little rough spot, but we're 10-4 and four now. Uh, we're doing really well. And honestly, if it wasn't for our pitching, we would be doing even better. I want to point out Lewicki. Artie Lewicki, uh, 8 games, 11 and 1 thirds innings pitched. 11 strikeouts, a 0 ERA. He has been amazing for us in the bullpen this year, which is really surprising. He was kind of just a fill-in, um, see how we did type pitcher. We weren't relying on him, but he's been great this year. So very happy to see that. It looks like Luke Weaver has been our worst starter uh, so far this season. We're going to give him a third start here and see how he does uh looks like he didn't do good he only lasted uh one out and he got hurt so i think that solves itself actually uh he's gonna be out for three weeks so we can go ahead and expand our bullpen again uh, let's kind of see here who we want to bring up we could bring up ian hamilton or jeremy walker Let's bring up Jeremy Walker and see how he does in our bullpen. But so far, our rotation's not bad. Hopefully, it continues to be successful. We're going to go ahead and sim another week, see how we do. I'm just hoping that we can continue to win at the pace we're winning. Very happy with our team so far. Uh, we fall into third place though, so that's unfortunate. We're 14 and 8, so we kind of hit a little bit of a rough spot. Uh, Taylor Clark is going to be out for three days. John Jay out for two days. Nothing crazy there. Let's go ahead and continue. Hector Rondon will be out for six days. Uh, yeah, we'll throw him on the 10, uh, on the 15 day DL. I don't know why it reverted back to that. It should be 10-day DL, but we'll throw him there, and we'll bring up Ian Hamilton to pitch in our bullpen. And we're going to put uh, Lewicki in our setup because he's been great. Uh, so update on the rotation. Everything's looking pretty good. Bumgarner, our worst pitcher, with a 488 ERA, so that's not bad. Hitting-wise, uh, Kelly struggling, hitting 220. Vote hitting 250, Crone 250 with a home run, Daniel Murphy 429 with six home runs. This was a good signing. 
Cattell Marte, 338 with four home runs. David Fletcher struggling, hitting 200 with a home run. Same with Nagashima, uh, 179 with three home runs. Ahmed, 288. Vargas, 368. David Peralta, 277 with three home runs. John Jay, 231. Marte, 353 with three home runs. And Cole Calhoun, 321 with eight home runs. Adam Jones is hitting 180. Uh, Nagashima is the big guy that's not doing well. We might send him down. I think I'm going to kind of just go one game at a time here and see how we do. If he can get up above 200, we might hold on to him. But we'll see. Corbin Martin out for three days. So Nagashima is hitting 203. 205. Um, yeah. I'm going to send him down. He's not really just... He's not doing anything for us. So I'm going to send him down. And I'm going to go ahead and bring up Andy Yun. Who's actually crushing in AAA 309 with seven home runs? So Andy Young's gonna come up, get the opportunity to help this team out. We'll have him play every fifth, and Vargas will play every sixth game there. And we'll have Andy Young play every sixth game there. And every seventh game there. And we can even put vote there. Give him more playing time. So that's good. David Fletcher still struggling, though, hitting 211. Uh, Daniel Murphy, though, that was a great move. Six home runs, 398. He's doing great. So let's go ahead and just get through the rest of this month. Finish it these last couple days. Dylan Patances was suspended for seven games. That's unfortunate. Taylor Clark with his fifth start of the season. We might send him hit down. His ERA is creeping towards five. Yep, we're going to send him down. Adam Jones out for six months. And we're going to send Taylor Clark down to AAA. And I'm going to bring up I'm going to bring up, who am I going to bring up? I'm going to bring up, uh, I want to bring up Alex Young. Yeah, we're going to bring up Alex Young. So, let's see if he can do well in our rotation. Uh, we need to bring up somebody else. Probably somebody in the bullpen. We'll bring up Ginkel. Yeah, we're going to bring up Ginkel. No, we'll bring up Birdie because Ginkel is kind of tired. Uh, John Jay is going to get significantly more playing time. So that's good. Uh, every sixth, every fifth game there. Which, I mean, he's hitting 236, so he's not that great, but he'll give our guys some days off. Uh, Daniel Murphy, again, continuing to hit very well for us. He's been the bright spot on this team. We're 17 and 14, so kind of our um, great start to the year is turning around really fast, unfortunately. We'll go over the stats here in a second. Luke Weaver eligible to come back. Lewicki, his return is uncertain. We're going to throw him on the DL and see what happens there. We'll bring Luke Weaver back. We're going to get, um, we're going to get, let's see. We'll get Merrill Kelly a start and then Alex Young and then Luke Weaver. 
Uh, Merrill Kelly will probably be sent down if Luke Weaver has a good start. But we'll find that out next episode. So uh, at the end of April, this team is 17 and 15. We're in third place, four and a half games behind the Dodgers. We had a really good start, a nine and one record uh, that was just really good. And unfortunately, few injuries, few bad performances have led to the team kind of falling. But we're still over 500. We still have a good opportunity to do a lot with this team. So rotation wise, Bumgarner's been okay, four and one with a 4.15 ERA. Gallon's been good, four and one with a 3.38 ERA. Corbin Martin, one and two with a 4.46 ERA. Merrill Kelly has been bad, two and two with a 6.15 ERA. Alex Young hasn't pitched. Weaver, one and zero with an 8.68 ERA. But I'm hoping that that's just because of his injury and nothing else. Archie Bradley has been terrible with an 8.53 ERA. Batances, 5.28 ERA, terrible. Lopez, a 9 ERA. Birdie, a 13.50 ERA. Walker, a 7.71 ERA. Hamilton, a 10.80 ERA. And our lefty specialist, Jose Alvarez, 2.77 ERA, has been our only hope in the bullpen. The lineup is a different story. We actually have a lot of bright spots. Fletcher, not so much. 231, one home run. Kind of a disappointment. Murphy, very good. 398, six home runs, 19 RBIs in that second hole. I mean, gosh, this guy has been great. Cattell Marte, 335 home runs, really solid. Starlin Marte, 304, four home runs. Peralta, 318, four home runs. Ahmed, not very good, but good enough. 259, no home runs. Calhoun, 288 home runs and Carson Kelly 192 with three home runs not hitting very well so that's how the team's doing I hope you guys enjoyed this episode be sure to rate favorite and subscribe I'll see you guys next episode